What's up team, Fullest, this is again Amy, welcome back to my channel, welcome to the of my canal. So in today's video, I want to come and show you guys how I mix my black soap. I have been doing this now for a while, but I've never really made a video about it. So today I thought, you know what, since I'm about to do another mixture, let me show you guys how I mix my black soap. So these are all the ingredients I use. I like to add some of my favorite soap that I like to bath with. I don't really like to take shower with shampoo. I'm not really a shampoo girl. I love bath soap like this, taking shower with. And so I like to add some of this soap into my black soap mixture. So the soap that I'm using, I have this hemp soap, as you guys can see. I've already grated this so that to make the video a little bit shorter. And this is what I use to grate the soap you can use the one that is a little bit smaller but i prefer this one a bit bigger it's a bit quicker so that is what i use and you guys can see i almost like not the half of the, the soap but quite a little bit so i use this one this is a hemp soap i use this one and then i also use this avocado soap which is really really nice it smells really beautiful and then i also take a little bit of this aloe vera soap and I also kind of mix it with it and I really really love it. So yeah, these are a few of the soap that I added into the mixture. As you guys can see, I've grated everything. So these are the soap that I grated. And here I have my lemon, I have my turmeric, and I have my organic honey. And here is where I have the rest of the other ingredient. Here I have my black soap. I have my shea butter. This is my yellow shea butter and this is the white shea butter and here i have my container and i do also have warm water because i need to add a little bit of warm water so now that i've shown you guys all the ingredients let's get into the video of showing you guys how i put all of this together so now i'm going to take this one i'm going to pour it into this container the reason why I'm using this container because it's a bit wilder, it's a bit bigger, and it's easier for me to mix all the ingredients together. But later on, you can put it into your container that you're going to use in the bathroom. Okay, so now that you've done that, I like to just mix everything. It's going to be a bit messy, but don't worry just clean after you done so now that i've done that i'm going to take the black soap you can add more black soap if you want to the reason why i add all the soap because this black soap is 100 percent organic black soap from ghana and it is very very 100 natural very good for the skin but at the same time it is very very dry when you apply into this when you apply it on the skin on its own without using any other product so that's the reason why i like to add all the few ingredients i like to add shea butter and honey and all sorts of that so now i'm going to take the shea butter i'm just going to pour it into the mixture you can add, you can use just one shea butter if you have the white one you can use it if you have the yellow one you can use it if you have both of the yellow and the white one you can also use both of them so now that i've put all of this with mixture so now i'm going to take a clean spoon as you guys can see i'm going to take my turmeric powder already start causing mess there so i'm going to take a spoon of turmeric turmeric is very very good for the skin it help um lighting dark spots on the skin and it make your skin the skin tone even so i'm going to take two of that or one and a half And now I'm going to take the lemon. 
I'm going to take the lemon. I'm going to cut it into two. So you're going to squeeze the juice of the lemon. This lemon doesn't even seem to have any juice. <laughs> this lemon seems not even to have a juice. Okay, this one has no juice. I have another lemon. I really love the the green lemon, but let's try this yellow one. Because the green one doesn't even seem to have a juice inside. One spoon. Two spoon. So now they've put two spoon. I'm going to like rinse the spoon so that I don't get the sour taste of the lemon into the honey. So now I'm going to take my raw honey and I'm also going to take ooh. almost two and a half spoon of raw honey So now what you're going to do is you're going to try to mix everything together before putting your hot water. So now that we've done that, so what you're going to do now, you're going to take your hot water water and you're going to pour it so everything is going to melt you guys can see the shea butter is melting So now what I'm like what I like to do is I'm just going to mix it a little bit and then leave it leave it to sit down for a couple of minutes and then everything will just come back together and then you can pour this into the container. It looks a little bit watery right now, but when everything gets softened and everything get a little bit hard everything will just come back together naturally so i just like to leave it like this first so it's a sit down for a couple of hours even though you have all these ingredients when you apply the soap onto your hand it is still very um soapy as you guys can see but the only thing is that it's not like gonna be super super dry when you use it on your skin it's not going to be dry it's going to be very very moisturizing on your skin as you guys can see even though i haven't washed it out yet but as you guys can see it's not like super super dry it's going to be moisturizing it's going to be very very good for the skin because the black soap on its own is very dry so now let's allow this one to soak for a couple of minutes and then i'll be back to show you guys the finished result so please stay tuned So guys, when you left the everything to soak down, later on what you're going to, you're going to do is try to mix it as you guys can see. But everything is not like super super smooth. You do have I still do have some gallops in it, some um other some some soap that wasn't completely melt. 
but so far i love the way this mixture is looking like um it will still settle down everything will still harden so when it gets colder everything will harden up a little bit now as you guys can see it's very very thick you can see the turmeric it's very very good this is really really good for skin so now i'm going to pour it into my container i do have this container and with the covered i got this one from aliexpress a while ago i got three i got one big one and two small ones um so yeah i'm going to see if everything is going to fit in here this time i made quite a lot because normally i'll make for one that fits inside this container but if it doesn't fit i'll put it in here or the remaining i'll look for somewhere else to put it but this is how I mix the black soap. So for example, now, if you want to use this black soap just to take shower, normally what I would like to do personally, I will take one of this container and I will pour just the normal mixture of the black soap in this container. And then what I will do also, I will also, now when I pour uh, some of the black soap in this container, if it remains, I will mix it with um, rosemary, rosemary, but the dry, the dry, the dry, the dry, the dry um, seed of rosemary. I don't know if I can show you guys. I think I have, for example, this is rosemary. This is the dry. So what I will do is I will take one of this and I will mix it with rosemary and I will use it on my skin. And it's very, very good for the skin if you want to mix it with rosemary or anything else that you own any other herbs that you want to use but now let's first pour it into this container and let's see how many that is going to remain okay so you guys can see how thick so you guys can see not everything is smoothly melt now you have your own back so I think that is quite enough. So you still do have quite a lot. So just like to wait this. If you want this one to even get hardened, if you want it to get a little bit stronger, what you would do is now that you pour it into this container, if you want, you can put it into the fridge into the fridge for a little bit maybe like five minutes or less than that so that it gets thicker and by that way you have like a really strong um black soap not like not that it's going to be super super strong but it's going to be like a little bit harder than this one so yeah so now that we get the first container now let's try to see if this rest can come in here i'm thinking of getting um more containers on aliexpress maybe the bigger one trying to see if i can get more of the bigger container because the smaller one is very very small but the reason why i like the small one if for example i'm going for a weekend to family i love to take the smaller one with me which of course i really really like it it's very nice it's easier to use to travel with and you also have your own soap with you. That's one thing I love about it. So now that we've mixed this as well, we've turned this one into this container. I'm also I'm going to put in both of this into the fridge so that it gets hardened a little bit. Okay. I'm just gonna put it into the fridge, allow it to Cool down to get hardened a little bit. With the remaining one, I'm going to look for somewhere to put this. And also what I'm going to do with the remaining one, I'm going to put the rosemary, this one. I'm going to put some of the dry herbs in the scrub, in this one, in the soap. I'm just going to put it. And I'm going to mix it like this. As you guys can see, it's not that too much. We're just going to mix it. And I'm going to look for a container that is going to fit this one. I do have a lot of containers. 
so i'm gonna look for a tiny container to put that one so i find this um container i'm gonna use this one to put the one that i put the dry rosemary inside but you can add any other herbs that you think it's good for you but i just love to add the rosemary and this one is going to be a little bit because you have to actually use your hand to scoop everything out so yeah. so guys this is the one that i have the rosemary in it as you guys can see this is what the soap is looking like it's very very moisturizing to the to the skin it helps clean to your skin and remove any dead skin cells and also at the same time help brighten some darker spots on your skin and also helps with moisture because the onion the honey and the shea butter um helps with moisture on your skin because the black soap itself is made from 100 percent natural ingredients but sometimes it can be very dry and hashy on your skin and that's the reason why you need to put some of the ingredient like um honey lemon some shea butter even though it's have all of those but as soon as you put water on it as you guys can see it get very soapy but it leaves your skin moisturized whenever you wash it out you guys can see a little bit go a long way and you can just like you guys see it's very very foamy and i really like it let me just wash it up so you guys can see what i'm talking about it leaves the skin very moisturized my skin doesn't feel dry because the black soap on its own, if you use the black soap on its own, your skin will feel super dry. As you guys can see, I've washed it off. My skin doesn't feel dry. My skin feels very moisturized, a little bit shiny as well because of the honey and the shea butter that is on it. And it's really, really nice. Um, if you want, you can also add some aloe vera gel if you want to. This is just a suggestion. But yeah, so this is it. And I'm also going to put this one also in the fridge so that it gets hardened a little bit, just five minutes. And when everything is done, I'll be back to show you guys the finished result. So please stay tuned. So guys, this is the finished result. As you guys can see, the soap, it's a little bit hard. It's not like super, super hard, but it's not like liquidy where it can fall down. No, as you guys can see, it's a little bit hard. So it's more easy for you to go in um, to grab the soap and take shower so this is the one i mixed with the rosemary so i'm gonna use this one to exfoliate like my armpit more of the darker side of my body like i really want to exfoliate my armpit i'm gonna be using that so yeah this is it this is how you make this is how i make my black soap there's a lot of turmeric in it um i i focus more like for example if you really want to get like your knee your your elbows your knuckles like stuff like that lighting what i normally do what i know is like five minutes before taking shower i will take the soap go in with my hand and then i'll rub the soap on my knees and that really really helped me and then late at night before i go to bed i will take vaseline just your ordinary vaseline and i will rub it on my knees even though vaseline is not a moisturizer but it actually also help prevent dryness and help um retained moisture on the skin so yeah that's that's the two things i do i apply this five minutes before taking shower on my knees on my elbows like places where i want to be even underneath my armpit and i use this one also to do like an exfoliator underneath my armpit so this is how i make my black soap um if you guys like this video please don't forget to like comment subscribe and share don't forget to follow me on my instagram on my facebook like page all the links will be down in the description box team fullest thank you guys so so much for your love and support i really really appreciate you all and i'll see you all on my next video peace out bye Doo.